guys, it's Noor Jahan here, and today we're gonna go over the basic chest movement for belly dance. So the basic chest movement, there are a couple of different ways that you can move, but this video in particular is for if you're struggling a little bit with the chest movement, you wanna widen your range, or you just wanna be able to practice, and I'll show you a couple of different tips to practice. So a couple of things to keep in mind. If you move just your chest for too long, it can be a little bit exhausting, so make sure that you're taking breaks, that you're not straining any part of your back or your chest, and that you keep breathing. I cannot stress that enough. Don't stop breathing while you're dancing. So with that in mind, let's get started. Oh, and don't forget, make sure to have a chair nearby if you can, or you can just check out the tips and then practice later, but a chair will be really helpful for this video. All right, so ready? The chest movement looks a little bit like this in a basic circle. Goes like this. From the side, that looks like this. Now I'm not moving from my shoulders. My shoulders can even stay still while I'm doing this. I'm actually using the stomach muscles to move my rib cage. Now, I like to practice this, especially when I'm driving, because it's just, who says you can't dance while you're driving, right? It's fun. All right, ready? So, when you're sitting, it settles your hips, so you're not having to think about other parts of your body, and you can just focus on the chest. Now, you can start by taking deep chest breaths. Feel your chest rise and fall as you take those breaths. There you go. The better your posture is, the more you'll be able to see and feel the movement. It's great practice for good posture. My posture has been suffering when I don't dance. Now I want you to practice that chest breath movement without actually taking the breath. So, moving your chest up and down. Practice that. It doesn't mean don't breathe. Breathe, okay? Breathe. Just let your chest rise and fall even in between breaths. So you get used to that moving your rib cage. There you go. Now you're gonna take that movement of sticking that those ribs out, and you're gonna try to take it in a circle. So you're gonna go, stick it out in the front, and let it drop in the back. There you go. And you might feel like your movement is really slight, and that's okay, the more you practice, the bigger your movement gets. You might also find that for you, you lift your chest and then drop it. So your movement might be higher. Mine isn't really like that as much, so I can't do it as well, but some people who I've danced with who are excellent dancers, their chests actually go up while they're doing it. Mine goes a little bit more in a round circle. Whatever works for you, this is about getting in touch with your body and feeling into what works best for you. There you go, and you might feel it's working those back muscles, it's working the front muscles. Now let's take it in the other direction, okay? I'm gonna show it to you from the front during this direction, all right, ready? You're lifting, and it's all in your chest. It's not, see how it's different when it's your shoulders? It's not your shoulders going forward and back, it's that chest. There you go, make sure you're breathing. Now let's take it to a standing pose, ready? So we're standing up. And you're gonna go with your chest in a circle. There you go, and your hips are still while your chest is moving. That doesn't mean that every time that you dance with your chest during belly dancing, your hips don't move. It means that right now we're learning to detach the chest from the hips. So that in the future you can do things like hips up to chest or body rolls. We're going in a little bit of an hourglass, crazy eight kind of dance. So there you have it. Keep practicing that chest. 
And let me know if you have any questions at all, okay? Great job, guys. Well done. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this chest exercise. You guys did an amazing job. Don't forget to hydrate and take care of that beautiful body. Until next time.